Hey everyone, Tara Roberts here with your DFS bargains for week 18. Before we get started, be sure to like this video and subscribe to Fantasy Alarm. Now at quarterback this week, my number one option is Tyler Huntley. I just don't have a lot of faith that Lamar Jackson will be returning to action. And don't let last week's poor performance fool you. The Rams are a tough matchup. And this week's matchup against the Steelers is far more friendly and you have to love the rushing upside. I am very comfortable rolling out Tyler Huntley in my lineups this week. Jordan Love is an option if Aaron Rodgers sits out because the Packers aren't really playing for anything. In his only start this season, Love completed 19 of 34 passes for 190 yards, one touchdown, one interception, and added five carries for 23 yards on the ground. But that was against Kansas City, a tough team. And this week is against the Lions, not a tough team. With far less pressure on him, if he gets the start, he is a viable option this week. If Huntley and Love aren't available as options due to starting, I am oddly comfortable with rolling out Ben Roethlisberger. Pittsburgh faces a Baltimore defense that has been struggling so much against the pass. Last time they played, Ben actually had a really great game, completing 21 of 31 passes for 236 yards and two touchdowns. This could be Big Ben's final game of his incredible career. It's a great matchup, and you gotta love the narrative here. And at running back, I've got three options for you this week. First up, Dontrell Hilliard. Despite only getting eight carries last week, he was very productive with them, rushing for 45 yards and one touchdown, adding three receptions for 33 yards. Hilliard is definitely the number two back in that Titans offense. His eight carries to Foreman's 26 says all that we need to know. But that doesn't really phase me this week with the matchup being against the Houston Texans. The Texans are 24th in DVOA against the run. Tennessee is on fire right now, and I suspect that this game really won't be particularly competitive. All of that just adds up to Hilliard being a great DFS value. Tevin Coleman is another potential value option. Coleman missed last week's game due to COVID, but he's been activated. And Michael Carter is in concussion protocol, so that leaves Tevin Coleman, Ty Johnson, and Austin Walter in the backfield. With Coleman returning, I think that he leads this backfield on the ground with opportunities for pass catching work as well. And the Jets face the Bills, who are very strong against the pass, but not so fantastic against the run. Coleman could be a good payoff at his pricing. And this last running back is another what-if player. Green Bay hasn't really indicated what they'll do. And again, they have clinched their first round by and they aren't really playing for anything. So what if they decide to sit the starters or only play them for one quarter? That leads Patrick Taylor as a guy who could come into play Against a Detroit team that is ranked 31st in DVOA against the run, it is the perfect matchup for a very big bargain running back. Moving on to wide receivers, and there's a lot of great value here this week. The Cardinals receiving core just hasn't really panned out since DeAndre Hopkins' season came to an end. But over the past three weeks, Antoine Wesley has had 17 targets, 9 receptions, and 3 touchdowns. Kyler Murray just really seems to be gravitating towards him. Seattle's defense leads far more pass-friendly, so I suspect that Wesley could continue his productive play. Cyril Grayson is another guy that we need to take serious as an option moving forward. The pass-happy Bucks are officially down to Mike Evans, but it was Cyril Grayson that led the way with six receptions on eight targets for 81 yards and one touchdown. This is his second game in a row with exactly 81 yards since being elevated from practice squad and he is still very cheap. Nico Collins is another very cheap option at receiver this week. The matchup against the Titans isn't ideal, but Houston is likely going to have to throw for volume in this matchup, and Nico Collins has really solidified himself as the number two option in that Texans offense. And our deepest bargain option here is Ray Ray McLeod. McLeod's pricing hasn't really caught up to his targets, which have actually been 29 over the past four weeks. Now, I'm going to guess that that's because he has done absolutely nothing with them. But he is cheap, 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 and the volume is there, and the matchup is excellent. At tight end, we will play a game called Pick a Brown. It's a very simple game. Pick either Austin Hooper or David Njoku because the Browns are facing a Cincinnati team that gives up the six most fantasy points to tight ends. I think Njoku has the higher upside and the riskier floor, and he also didn't practice on Wednesday. Hooper is the safer option, maybe the more cash-friendly option, but he does get a massive boost if Njoku doesn't play. 
choose wisely. And that wraps things up for this week's DFS bargains. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and good luck with your lineups.